Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about finding probability using a two-way table. Now, um, making a table is a great way to kind of take a word problem and get all the numbers in your head and be able to use them uh, when otherwise seems really confusing. So what I've got here to start is a situation where we're at an airport. There's an 8% chance of rain. There's a 14% chance that a flight is delayed. Uh, the chance that it rains and the flight is delayed is 4%. And I'm asking two questions. What's the chance there's no rain and the flight is on time? What's the chance there's rain and the flight is on time? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a table. Uh, we're gonna have rain and no rain. And we're gonna have uh, on time and then delayed. And here we're gonna have total and total. So the way this works is you, first of all, take the chance of rain, you see here's rain. The total probability of rain is 0 0.08. And then for the flight being delayed, the total chance of that is 14%. So 0.14 goes here. Um, the chance that we have rain and the flight is delayed, uh, here's rain, here's delay. So this box is rain and delayed. This is 4%. Um, and now we need to fill in all the other boxes. One thing to know is that everything should add up. These should add up to the total. These two boxes should add up to this total. These two boxes add up to this total. These two add up to 0.14. And these two add up to this, which is going to be 1. Because we're talking about probabilities, you know that everything always has to add up to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hmm, this plus something makes 0.14. So that's gonna be 0.10, four plus 10 makes 14. Something plus this makes eight. So we're gonna have 0 0.04 right there. Uh, we can figure out this box, something plus 0.14 makes one. So that's gonna be 0.86. And then this plus something makes 0.86, so that's going to be 0.82. And then if you add these two together, you should get a total of 0.92. You can check yourself just by making sure these add up to 86, these add up to 14, this adds up to 0.92, these add up to 0.08, these add up to 1. So it looks good. Once you have your two-way table, you can answer any question you want practically. Um, What's the chan chance there's no rain and the flight is on time? Well, here's no rain, here's on time. That's an 82% chance. What about uh, rain and flight on time? Here's rain and on time. It's a 4% chance. Let's do another one. Okay, in this problem, you've got a baseball team. The chance the team wins is 48%. The chance they score five or more runs is 57%. The chance they win and score five or more runs is 38%. And to start, I wanna know what's the chance they lose and score fewer than five runs. So if I just asked you this straight up, it would be pretty difficult to get your head around it. So we're gonna make a table. Uh, first of all, we'll do win and lose. Then we'll do uh, five or more and then we'll do less than five. And this will be total and total. So let's fill in what we know. Uh, we know that the chance the team wins is 48%. So here's win, the total win is 48%. There we go. Um, the chance that we score five or more runs, here's five or more runs, that's a total probability of 57%. Uh, the chance we win and score five or more runs, here's win, and here's five or more. So win is here and five or more. This is going to be 0.38. And as always, we know the total percents all add up to 100%. So we've, we can start filling in our table. Uh, 0.38 plus something makes 0.57. That's going to be uh, 0.19, 19%. 57.57 plus something is one, so that's gonna be 0.43. Uh, these two uh, boxes add up to 0.48, so this is gonna be 0.10. Uh, 
And then these have to add up to 0.43. So 0 0.10 plus something makes 0.43. That's going to be 0.33. And then finally, 0.48 plus something makes one. That's going to be 0.52. And you can check yourself by saying, do these add up to 0.52? Yes. Do these add up to one? Yes. Do these add up to 0.48? And uh, it works all the way around. So uh, now what's the chance we lose? Here's lose and score fewer than five runs. Here's less than five. So lose fewer than five is a 33% chance. Um, we, could, uh, we could do a conditional question. This is kind of an interesting case. What's the chance we uh, win given that we score uh, um, more than five runs or equal to five. So what this says is if we score five or more runs, what's the chance we win? So in this case, we're going to have a fraction. Um, the bottom of the fraction is the population of scoring five or more runs. So here's five or more runs right here. They're at 57% of the chance that happened. 57% uh, of the time that happened. And then when did we win? 38% of the total. So the chance that we won, given that we know we scored five or more runs, is going to be 0.38 over 0.57. You can easily figure that out. 0.38 over 0.57 is uh, 0.67, about two-thirds chance of that. Uh, you could ask other questions. You could say, what's the chance um, you win? and score um, um, sorry yeah more than five so win and here's five or more that's what I meant it's 0.38 just like that so anyway that's how a two-way table works uh, it's something that you can use to take a confusing word problem and make it uh, put the data in an organized fashion so that you can you can actually use it and, and answer your question.